In this video, we're going to show you how to use campaigns specifically for Facebook ads. This is one of the most requested videos I've got lately. People just asking, how do I create this? So we're going to start off in command and I am here under campaigns. And first thing to note, make sure that you add a credit card on file for this to work. Facebook basically charges Keller Williams. Keller Williams charges you for these ads. There's no extra charge. However, you need a card on file first. So check out our previous video on how to add your credit card. So I'm going to go ahead and create a campaign. So we're going to say create new campaign, up right hand corner. And we're going to do social ad for paid. Now it's going to ask me a campaign name. Now I am looking to save thousands with km for keller mortgage and my whole goal honestly in this one is just brand awareness i'm looking for people to download my app now you might be advertising a new listing you might want to get more listings hiring for talent maybe you're promoting an open house or looking for buyers or other so uh, that's my goal for this one is brand awareness i want people to know about my team and download my mobile app and i'm going to check the box for facebook here in the event you didn't connect Facebook yet, it'll give you an option to do that if you click this and it's not connected yet. So we're going to go ahead and set up campaign. Now this is going to open up the section. Now if this was for a listing, I could use this little widget here and add a listing which will grab the photos and content from my listing. However, I'm not going to do that. So we're going to come here and configure our ad text. Now I'm looking here to promote the mobile app and ultimately I'm looking for people to save thousands at Keller Mortgage. So I'm going to go ahead and I've already typed out something. So I'm going to have here this little dialogue about buying a home, like saving money. You could save thousands with Keller Mortgage. Ultimately, we're adding it for our mobile app here. Now the headline, I can add something here so I can use one of their suggestions. Oops. I can also just type in my own. So how about I just say, uh, save thousands on a home. Okay, perfect. And then a description, um, enter your information and access our free home search mobile app instantly. That way they know what they're getting and they know what to do. Perfect. So now we're going to configure my media. Now you have the option of an image, video, or multiple images. Now in my testing of this, video always crushes it way better on responses and interaction than anything. So I'm actually going to do a video. So we're going to say single video here. I'm going to select the media. We're going to choose add video and upload a video directly. There is an option to embed a link, but I will tell you as far as Facebook goes, that means they have to click to watch and it doesn't do as well. So you always want to upload a video directly. And I've already downloaded my video, so I'm going to pop it into here. Perfect. There it goes. And it is not too long, less than a minute. Uh, it's less than 20 megabytes, so I should be good there. We're going to continue with the video. So that is going to put my video on the right-hand side of my preview. Next, you're going to choose your Facebook page. Now, I've got my account connected, and then I'm going to choose my page here. So we're going to do this for my real estate team, the J team, serving all of your Fort Lauderdale and South Florida needs. And then we're going to get to the point where we say use lead generation form or use the site or landing page. Now, ultimately, my goal is to have people download my app, yet today's mobile app does not track who has that yet. So I'm actually going to use Facebook lead generation for this. That means they're going to get a pop-up in Facebook that says, hey, what's your name, email address, and phone number? And that is going to auto-populate into command. Now, in the event you want them to go to a website or maybe you have a landing page, I'm also running an ad right now to find out their home value. However, that website is going to ask them to enter their address and their home information and their name and number and stuff. So I didn't want them to have that twice. So I use this use a site or landing page option for them. However, we're going to say use Facebook lead generation form. Now it's going to give me an option here for learn more, sign up or apply now. Ultimately, I want them to learn more and get my app. I could say sign up for my app and apply now. I'm actually going to try sign up this time. Now, the most popular one is learn more. And then I'm going to say, what is my destination link? Now, I've already got a link for app.jteamfl.com. So I'm going to copy that so that I can paste it into the link here. Perfect. 
So that way I've got that app in. Now we're gonna get to add targeting. Now ultimately I'm gonna target a custom audience in a future actual um, video, we'll do one around targeting your database. But for this, I wanna target people around my area. You can do a location and it actually will let you do even neighborhoods. So I'm actually gonna do my neighborhood here in South Florida. That way I wanna do a dot in the center of my neighborhood and go about 15, 20 miles out. I'm okay with 15 miles, you can go up to 50. I don't wanna to go too crazy and ultimately I'm looking for home buyers, maybe sellers that wanna also buy a home and who are looking to save money. Then you get to your export targeting. Now this is where you can add or change interest and there's a whole list here you can go through. I don't have time to go through everything in the list, but you can go through the list as well here. Now I'm gonna see if there's anything around buyers or home buying. So first time buyer, first time home grant, maybe people who like those. I'm actually gonna check them just in case. People who have trust and interest to be a first time buyer. And I'm doing the or option, which means if they do meet it, it will reach them. If I say and, it means they have to. I've also found typically if they're looking, they probably are on this lovely site for Zillow. So I'm gonna check Zillow. I'm gonna do Trulia and then Realtor.com, mainly because they may be on this site, uh, Realtor.com. There's lots of things that you can do. If I was targeting people who, if it was a listing, let's say, maybe I need to target golf course or luxury brands or anything there. And for this example, I'm just gonna leave it with these five. And the whole goal is I wanna target people here. And ultimately my estimated audience is gonna be reached within 15 miles of anybody who might be interested, in maybe a first time home buyer, maybe they're looking for a first time home buyer grant, Zillow, Trillioroto.com, just so that I can attract potential clients. Down below, add content. I can use my own custom or if I use those autofills up above. So that was when they gave me the option there. And then we're gonna get to the duration and budget. Now, Facebook has told us personally, they recommend between five to $8 a day if you're gonna do this. So I'm actually gonna run this ad and we're gonna do it for $50 and I'm gonna run it for the 10 days. And I wanna gauge my engagement. That way it's $5 a day. Video does very well. I find with video, I can get it less than a dollar a click, maybe even as low as 50 cents or less. If I do photos and a photo of it, I found I'm getting about a dollar fifty, a dollar eighty per click. So I'm gonna go ahead and save duration and budget. So to recap, here on the right, here's my Facebook preview. Here's the mobile version of it, what it's gonna look like. Buying a home, save thousands, sign up, right? That's what it's gonna look like here. It's gonna give them a link, and then ultimately that link's gonna take them to my mobile app. And I can preview that here. And remember what we did is we went through our name and our goal. We added our text. We added our media. We chose our Facebook account. And what we wanted to have happen, if it was a lead or if there, we chose our demographics and location. And then we ultimately chose our budget. Now that I'm done, I'm actually gonna run this ad, so I'm going to publish the campaign. Now when you do this, it is gonna give you the choice for your card. I've already got the one I want here at the top, and it does tell you it's going to cost you or charge you right away, meaning they're gonna charge my card $50 today, and then they will use it um, as they go forward with the ad. And in the event that I didn't use all that money, there will be a credit for a future ad in the future. So I'm gonna say create campaign, and just like that, I have now created a video ad to promote my mobile app. Some tips and tricks I found if you use emojis in your text for the ad text, sometimes it cuts it off. Meaning if I had maybe some text and then I put an emoji in, it tends to stop before the emoji. So I found emojis don't necessarily work there. I did also learn you kind of have to trial and error this, A-B testing in essence. So try a version, change up your text, don't run your ad too long because eventually it can get stale and Facebook's gonna do the auto adjusting for you. So it's uploading the video now to Facebook, that's the delay here. And just like that, I am able to create my ad. It is gonna show me that it's pending and it should start running by tomorrow when they go through the approval process because we have to go through Facebook's approval process. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, follow me on KB Connect or YouTube today.